Dear students, welcome to our class, Practical and Humanity. Before we go into the class, a request to you all, please download the Practical and Humanity well before your class uh, and well before your exam because there is an internet problem. My YouTube channel is Agrometrology, Farmers and Rural Development. Please download it. Uh, a quote before we go into the class only to inspire you. What is it? Very, very simple line. Simple one. By wasting time, one is not harming others but oneself by wasting time one is not harming others but oneself so this is the quote let's go straight into our class humidity as i said a few seconds back uh, my channel uh, agrometrology farmers and rural development i have given elaborate information on humidity in the theory is concerned go to the theory and study well there there you understand very clearly what is humidity the water vapor content in the atmosphere is known as humidity. What is related humidity? What is absolute humidity? What is specific humidity? What is vapor pressure? What is vapor pressure deficit? So, like this, uh, I have given there. Now, so here in the practical class, there are uh, <coughs> different principles and methods to measure the humidity. So, what are those? Mechanical contraction or expansion of uh, absorbing material with the changes in moisture content. Atmosphere has got uh, a maximum of 4% of moisture. So, it may range between uh, 0 0.05 or 0 0.5 or sometimes uh, in certain conditions of 1 to 4 percent atmosphere can hold moisture. So, so what is the mechanical contraction or expansion of absorbing material which is changes in the moisture content in that atmosphere? Okay, suppose we keep a material, it absorbs, okay, okay, uh, sometimes you know it changes, you know, it is the color or weight or anything. So, that is number one. That mechanical means contraction or expansion of absorbing material. What are the changes in the uh, humidity is concerned? The second one is the psychrometric when dry and wet bulbs are mounted on a wooden platform, we call it as the psychrometer. So from the psychrometer, dry bulb reading, wet bulb reading, uh, the difference between these two called as the wet bulb depression. There are specific tables for specific uh, observations there. We get the psych from the psychrometer humidity can measure. Similarly, dew point, deposition of moisture from gas, by cooling in which a, a mirror is used to observe the formation of the dew. Okay, like that. Uh, and the, the chemical changes uh, in the reactions due to absorption of water from the volume of air. So, in such a volume of air, there is a, there are some chemical changes due, based on that. Also, we measure the humidity. Electrical types are there. Measurement of electrical resistance of uh, a thin film of hygroscopic material when exposed to the air. This is another method. So, electrical methods are there. Gravimetric methods are there. Known volume of air is drawn through a wide dry agent which will absorb moisture from it and the increase in the weight of the agent measured directly. This is the gravimetric method. Spectroscopic variation in the intensity of selected absorbing spectral lines which change the humidity of air. This is very, very sophisticated. So, microwave absorption of microwaves by water vapor. So, there are different methods. In these methods, the principles so just to try to understand that humidity can be measured by different methods using different principles. So, let's go to the next slide. So, this is how a psychrometer looks. A bit will come <coughs> both in the practical and the theory. When <coughs> a dry bulb and wet bulb are mounted on a wooden platform side by side, wet bulb slightly uh, in the lower position. So, this is what we call it as the psycho uh, meter, psycho meter, instant measuring of the at any given time you can go there, dry and wet bulb readings you take it, wet bulb depression you calculate it. Okay, so then from the psychrometry table. Now let us go to a small diagram on miniature electric psychrometer. This is a very, very hard work by me. It took innumerable days uh, to draw this wonderful diagram. Okay, it took innumerable days. Please have a class. How a miniature, okay. Uh, electric uh, psychrometer looks uh, in uh, no book you will find such a classical uh, diagram. You try to understand what exactly is that one. Now, then, so let's go to what is wet bulb and dry bulb thermometer in the temperature. After we try to understand what is a dry bulb, what is a wet bulb. Dry bulb thermometer has got mercury in it. Wet bulb thermometer also has got mercury in it. Only in the both mercury is there for both. Both have got bulbs now. So one bulb in a thermometer is made continuously wet by a wick. Okay, so it measures the uh, temperature, presuming that it is a saturated uh, when the atmosphere is saturated. So, the wet bulb and dry bulb water. Wet bulb 
रीडिंग वी टेक ट्राइबल वी रीडिंग से इंडिविजुअल ट्राइबल रीडिंग विल बी मोर कोई सबट्रैक्ट से ट्राइबल रीडिंग इज 30 कैटबल रीडिंग इज 25 व्हाट इज द डिफरेंस व्हाई सो वी गो टू माइक्रोमेट्रिक टेबल वी मेजर द ह्यूमिडिटी दैट वी आर ट्राइबल माइक्रोमीटर सिंपल प्रिंसिपल डिफरेंस बिटवीन द वेट एंड ट्राइबल रीडिंग बिकॉज़ ऑफ द चेंज ऑफ द रेट ऑफ एवोपरेशन फ्रॉम द अंडरलाइंग वेट सरफेस एज फार एज द वेट बल्ब थर्मोमीटर इज कंसर्न ऑपरेशन एंड मेजरमेंट This hygrometer, please note that you know it is the instant reading only. It is it won't record. Just hygrometer. When you go there, you get two readings. Difference, bed bulb depression. Go for hygrometer table. You get the humidity like that. So, uh, what is the principle? Once again, let us have the difference between bed and table bulb readings is because of a change of rate of evaporation from the underlying wet surface. This is the principle. Operation measurement. This hygrometer is handy. Very simple. It is very handy and. Uh, Uh, an accurate device uh, it is used for outside measurements and also in the proper field as far as agricultural petrology is concerned we should measure the humidity inside the proper field one of the most reliable is uh, in my own experience for about 38 years uh, uh, like a digital um, uh, digital anemometers like a digital anemometers uh, these are also you know very inexpensive earlier digital anemometers were very very very, very shoddy and everything nowadays digital anemometers for uh, Uh, with nowadays uh, dry and wet bulb thermometers when they are mounted on a wooden platform we can use it very confidently for an msc or phd workshop now so how we this consists of two mercury gas thermometers graduated with minus 10 to 50 degrees centigrade and mounted on one by so side by side these two dry and wet bulbs are mounted on side by side one is mounted a little lower than the other and its bulb is covered with a is a fine fine very fine muslin cloth which is wetted with distilled water at the time of observation at every time of observation we just put that muslin cloth uh, with some water distilled water so that it gets wet okay the other end of the cloth is uh, dipped in a container filled with pure water distilled water so both the thermometers are exposed to the air the humidity of which is to be measured the tribal thermometer indicates the current air temperature okay Uh, whereas the wet bulb thermometer indicates the temperature of air under saturated condition. So saturated presume under saturated condition, what would have been the temperature? That is indicated by wet bulb. So, okay, rate and heat of vaporization always always cools the bulb. This is the principle. This is the principle. Now here it is the moisture in the muslin of wet bulb evaporates, and the, now here you see, and the rate it is absorbed by the evaporating. So thereby. moisture causing temperature reading of the wet bulb temperature to fall okay okay late heat of evaporation makes the thermometer mercury in the thermometer to fall that's what so when the speed of the unsaturated air is equal to the <coughs> equal or more than the uh, feet per second of course it passes over the bulb of the thermometer very simple the difference between the readings of the dry and wet bulb several times i told you called as the wet bulb depression on the tables we can from the tables we can get the uh, humidity this is a very very simple way so let's go to asmon psychrometer simple simple very simple asmon psychrometer is very simple for every thermometer you know there is a, a thermometer is there. the thermometer is the covered with a metal this is the dry bulb thermometer covered with metal this is the wet bulb thermometer okay covered with the other metal okay so dry and wet bulb is Or some steel case or an alloy case is uh, metal. So we have a uh, mechanism to drag the water, okay, uh, to drag the air. So at the force through ventilation we get it. So this is very simple. Dry and wet bulb thermometers are there. Muslin cloth is there for the wet bulb thermometer. In the asmon psychrometer we give force through ventilation the suction. Micrometer also studies for our micrometer also the studies uh, excellent for humidity. Next to Basics. This is the basic class. You can use both asmon psychrometer and ordinary psychrometer. What I call wooden platform, wooden platform, dry and wet bulb. Simple. The asmon psychrometer is also same, same, same as the dry and wet bulb. But here, what happens? Our skin is willing. The difference between the wet and dry bulb readings so when unsaturated air passes over the bulb of the thermometer on forced ventilation. We give a screw so that you know it. Uh, it drags it pulls the air into uh, over the bulbs of the thermometer here so there in the ordinary of dry and wet thermometer just they are exposed to the uh, lower atmosphere so that's what 
Now here, the operation measurement is very simple. This is the best available cytometer for a humidity measurement in micrometer of the study, that's what I told you. So in this treatment, two sensitive calibrated mercury glass thermometers are enclosed in a double walled radiation screen. So that's what I told. The thermometers are covered with a double walled, okay, double walled screen. So this is the bulb is there, so two are there. No ventilation, forced ventilation. We do it usually nickel plated coaxial tubes which are thermally insulated from the rest of the apparatus are used to minimize the radiation effects of the two thermometers. Okay. One is driver and the other is the other one is covered with a thin muslin cap or muslin cloth, okay, which is moistened with a distilled water every time the instrument is used. Whenever we wanted to use the instrument, you know, we have to uh, moisten the uh, a wet water thermometer with uh, diesel water. Now, to uh, ensure adequate uh, opportunity for evaporation from the wick of the wet bulb, the psychrometer is aspired uh, by a clockwork more of a clockwork motor. Is there as I said, uh, there is a clockwork motor we do just like the toys, the children, you know, we do key and then allow it like that, you know, we do clockwork motor is there, we do full screw and we allow it there so that it drags, it drags. Uh, Forced ventilation now. Right. So this is how an aspon psychrometer looks. There is a dry bulb, there is a wet bulb. Simple, like our uh, uh, dry and thermometers only. The wet bulb must be on the downstream side of the dry bulb, that is nearer to the fan. This should be done to prevent uh, the cold air from the wet bulb impinging on the dry bulb. Okay. So the depression of the wet bulb temperature below the dry bulb temperature in an unsaturated area is due to the operation of water from the muslin. That's what I do, let it eat of evaporation. Okay, so the relative humidity can be computed from the tables uh, we, can, we can have. Okay, different uh, uh, hygrometric tables from that, like the dry and wet bulb. As the hygrometer is also same for different locations, the different tables are there. That you want to remember. It is not the same for the same country, same location. Same, okay. Uh, yeah. Different locations, they have different psychometric tables. Hygrometer, okay. Digital anemometer. Here also, hygrometer. Sometimes, anemometer and hygrometer are nowadays, you know, they are uh, uh, combined in certain mix, you know, they have been combining it. So, wonderful technology has developed nowadays. So, here, hygrometer, instant reading of the radius. These are very, very, very useful, very simple. What are those principles? When the air is dry, the cells in the hair, human hair, the cells in the human hair, Okay, are close together, but uh, when the air is humid, uh, the space between the cells uh, absorbs water vapor and the air thickens and lengthens. Okay, air thickens and lengthens when the humidity is increasing. Now, so the this contraction or expansion of hair with the change in the moisture content is used to measure the moisture in the atmosphere. Water vapor content the atmosphere is known as humidity. Water vapor is measured, okay, uh, by a hygrometer. That's very, very interesting. This, this instrument, uh, how it operates, how we measure a bunch of human hair. A bunch of human hair is used in a socket, okay, on uh, absorption of the moisture. Any slight increase in the volume of hair is magnified by a delicate set of lever mechanism, just like. Uh, our cloth knitting needle, you know, human hair is attached to uh, uh, the needle. That needle rests over a 0 to 100, okay, uh, surface. This is what very simple. Uh, so, to this uh, lever mechanism, a pointer is fixed. What is the pointer? Just a needle. The pointer is uh, fixed, uh, which can move over a scale graduated from 0 to 100, like this, you know, take a paper. So, our buttons are there, for example. Our buttons you take one, one, two, three buttons, human hair, like this, like this, like this. Then at the end, you know, you put the one needle, but you bring it to the other side. So zero to hundred. This is the hygrometer, very simple. Okay. So when the humidity changes, corresponding change occurs in the length of the hair. So the pointer, the pointer, you know, the pointer, the pointer uh, moves because of the movement of the liver mechanism. So what is the lever mechanism? Two, three buttons I am telling. Our buttons like you know, one button, other button, other button. Human hair, human hair, human hair. Now it is a pointer on the side. 
zero to hundred, it moves because of the lever mechanism. So this point which moves across the scale indicates the relative momentum directly. Is a meter directly instead. Now, so hydrograph. Same principle is recorded. Over what uh, a clock mechanism like our watch, you know, so there is a if you keep one moving, okay, the um, uh, drum, okay. So that is the clock mechanism. We call it as here. Same as hydrometer principle. However, to record the continuous changes in the relativity on a graph paper during our subject, the recording mechanism. You have to record a graph, you know. We just keep it there. Go after 24 hours, we come from the Stevenson screen. We keep the hydrograph in the Stevenson screen. Usually, usually thermograph, hydrograph, sometimes barograph also are kept in the Stevenson screen, depending upon the uh, sections of the respective hydrometer also department service of the country. Now, so when hygrometer is uh, transformed into a self-recording device, uh, it is called a hygrograph. That's what I told, that's what I told, that's what I told. Hygrometer, okay, is transformed into self-recording device. It's called a hygrograph. Now, operation measurement, uh, uh, a band of human hair is fixed on the lever, okay, and any slight increase in the volume is transmitted to a pen arm through a magnifying system. The pen arm is self inked and works on the levers. A change in the length of the hair is proportional to the log change of relativity log. Simple mathematics. This is how hydrographs look. So the first one is the hair hydrograph left side. Okay. The principle of the hair hydrograph, I have wonderfully. So principle of hair hydrograph, hair hydrometer of the hydrograph. Principle of higher hydrometer, almost the same, except the uh, recording drum. Okay, uh, this is what you, you may be asked a question to draw a neat labeled diagram of hair hydrograph, hair hydrometer, and label them. This is how you write. This is my own creation, very hard work for several years now. So, let's go to a calibrated chart is wrapped around a rotating like our, like our, like our self recording range. A calibrated chart is wrapped around a rotating drum. This completes one rotation 24 hours and works on the clock mechanism like a narrow graph, like a self recording rain gauge. There is a rotating drum over which there is a calibrated chart wrapped around. Okay, the x axis represents the time, the y axis represents the humidity 0 to 100. Okay, zero will never be there. For academic interest, you know, we keep from 0 to 100. Over 100, there is no humidity. So that's what the dust on the head should be clean. That I told in the theory class. So now let us say a small exercise uh, for uh, humidity, you know. So we are agrometrologists. Uh, we should do some exercise. Please note that uh, I am going to give the live, live, very live demonstrations of the all the instruments of a half minute or one minute in the separate uploading in the YouTube. Till that point, you know, you tried to understand practicals from the description operation measurement. Now, we do a small exercise. How? Half one size per minute, you take six. Distilled water, 100 ml, you take two thin posts of one, one and a half meters or two meters or three meters height, you take. Put in bench, writing bench, we take it. Now, so clock, okay, well, uh, let us take two clocks along. This is the design of a field experiment by me, okay? This worked excellent for over 30 years in my experience. Now, so let us see what is the procedure. Post, two posts are there, clamps are there, okay? Same as that of the, what we uh, did in the dry and wet well there to measure the vapor pressure in the pressure exercise, same exercise. But here we use the asthma spectrometer. They are very useful, of course, dry and wet well thermometer. During my MSc, for uh, calculating the buoyancy ratio, I use the dry and wet well thermometers only, not osmosis hydrometers. Osmosis hydrometers work very, very expensive that time. Early 80s, not in late 70s, early 80s. I'm not sure. Now, so uh, nowadays osmosis hydrometers are available. So fix one thin post in the middle of the maize crop or a flower crop or a wheat crop. My experiment for MSC was wheat crop. I fixed it in the wheat crop. One thin post, okay? Okay. Uh, any other field crop? Uh, in between the rows and another in the open field. Same post in the another field. What we do? Ask the helper. You take the help of a person. Uh, uh, each, okay, to be near this post. You keep two persons uh, at one post each. Uh, there are arms. Okay, two uh, aspen cyclometers per head. You give them two aspen cyclometers per head. So mount one uh, cyclometer to the clamp which is at a level equal to the top of the crop. Just, uh, okay, about 10 
they did not top of the graph mount another one to the clamp which is fixed to 15 centimeters from the ground okay another one the third one clamp is a uh, 100 centimeters above the graph you meet you know 100 centimeters above the graph just 15 centimeters into the graph just 10 centimeters from the ground similar setup outside now fix another three psychrometers uh, in the open field also like that you know these two places uh, Okay, moisture and the wet bulbs of the psychrometers, last one psychrometers, so, uh, wind, the clock. Okay, now, so wait for two minutes to settle down, read the wet bulb, read the dry bulb, repeat the same for every 15 minutes or 30 minutes, maybe two hours, two and a half hours, depending upon the time. You read the readings in the field, open field, you measure them. So, this is how you can say it, you can record them in the uh, graph sheets or recording sheets that I have given. Plot the graph uh, time x-axis y-axis humidity okay if it is uh, recorded in the uh Stevens screen uh, okay that compare with this one okay so if any difference is there why you could know it it is in the open field it is in the crop you draw the uh, uh you just uh, mention them in the table draw good graphs analyze them so uh, again i'm telling you again and again and again i'm telling you in the live demonstration of this uh, i'm going to upload in my uh, Agrometrology, Pharmacy, Road Development, another YouTube. So, till that time, operation measurement, you know, how to conduct an experiment, also, you know it. Now, before I end the class, okay, so this is uh, what uh, I would like to impress upon you. Uh, by wasting time, one is not harming others. By wasting time, one is not harming others. You go and sit with some other. You are not harming that person, but you are harming oneself. You are harming yourself. So, never waste your time. See good. Speak good. Isn't good. Good. May God bless you. All the best. Thanking you very much.